In the hallowed annals of horse racing history, there exists a secret tradition that has captured the hearts of millions. A legacy that weaves through time like a tapestry of valour and triumph. The Kentucky Derby, an emblem of greatness, an ode to the equine spirit and a symbol of unyielding passion. For over a century, the thundering hooves have echoed across the venerable grounds of Churchill Downs as champions emerge to etch their names in the immortal cages of horse racing folklore. From the unforgettable Sir Barton to the legendary Secretariat, each stride has been a symphony of grace and courage. And within this historic realm of flesh and blood, bonds between horse and rider are forged, lasting through the ages. But as the world evolves, so too does the spirit of competition. Today, as we venture into the virtual domain, we pay homage to the pioneers of a new legacy. A legacy that fuses tradition with innovation. And the pursuit of greatness extends beyond the confines of reality. Welcome to this season's Virtual Kentucky Derby. Where the frontier of horse racing meets the boundless realm of Web3. Here, in this digital arena, horses of pure code and dreams, crafted by visionaries, gallop. Fueled by the passion of their creators and riders alike. Within this matrix of pixels, hearts pound with anticipation as the virtual thunder ignites the souls of virtual fans worldwide. The legacy of the Kentucky Derby is not only preserved, but elevated to new heights, where innovation and tradition intertwine in perfect harmony. As we celebrate the past and embrace the future, Remember that the essence of horse racing lies not solely in the tangible, but in the intangible. The relentless spirit that transcends the realm of flesh, steel and circuits. It's the desire to triumph, the will to conquer and the dream of making history. So let us unite in admiration for these majestic athletes, both real and virtual, as we ride the currents of time and create new legacies that will echo through generations to come. Ladies and gentlemen, gamers, racing enthusiasts, welcome again to the Virtual Kentucky Derby. A thrilling 11th running in our 13th season of Photo Finish Live. I'm Ian Cummings. I'm the CEO of Third Time Entertainment. It is an honor to be here with you today. I hope you enjoy my nice new background. That's a crown logo behind me. Everybody got to enjoy this. From our inception, the goal has been clear to bring you this electrifying, true-to-life horse racing simulation on our pioneering Web3 platform. The ride has been incredible. Uh, it's been shaped by you, our player community, of course. Your enthusiasm, your feedback. It's truly really been instrumental in, in evolving the game into what it is today. Uh, a special heartfelt thank you to tonight uh, for Churchill Downs, our esteemed partner. Uh, this cooperation has really elevated our game. It's, it's merging this state-of-the-art technology with the timeless thrill of horse racing. And we are at the point now where we're captivating fans worldwide. We are immensely grateful for the partnership and the shared vision of really bringing horse racing into a whole new generation of fans. But all that being said, the heartbeat of Photo Finish Live is undoubtedly you, the people watching this tonight, the vibrant player community, the zeal, the engagement. It's what keeps the game alive. You've built this lively atmosphere where friendships thrive, alliances are made, the competitive spirit soars to new heights. And looking ahead, we know that this is merely the beginning of our journey together. It feels like, wow, we've done 11 of these, uh, but we're just getting started still because we are a mere four weeks away from the real-life Kentucky Derby 
and not just that, the 150th anniversary. So many of our community members going to be joining us in Louisville, a special night indeed that we're all looking forward to. So we have so many exciting updates, groundbreaking innovations on the horizon this month and beyond. So let's toast, let me find my glass here, our virtual glasses to future filled with even more excitement. A little product placement. Now, gear up. We're going to team up with your friends. Prepare to crush your enemies. Let's make this virtual Kentucky Derby another memorable chapter in the legacy of Photo Finish Live. Let's take a moment now. We're going to introduce our new members to really what makes Photo Finish Live such a special game and community. Welcome to the thrilling world of Photo Finish Live, the revolutionary virtual horse racing ecosystem that brings the excitement of real horse racing straight to your fingertips. Brought to life by Third Time Entertainment, Photo Finish Live offers a unique and immersive experience like no other. Picture this, you're not just a spectator, you're a real life owner and breeder of horses in this captivating virtual world. Engage in heart-pounding races against other players, where real money is on the line. The stakes are high, and the rewards are yours for the taking. There's a host of innovations that set Photo Finish apart from the competition, such as the most advanced genetic breeding algorithm in the world, and the ability to own racetracks and share their monetary rewards. In Photo Finish, you will create generations and generations of unique offspring, each carrying the legacy of its ancestors. The true-to-life genetic system offers endless possibilities for breeding, and your decisions will determine the future champions of the track. All the while owning a proportional share in a racetrack via Crown, our cryptocurrency, allows you to share the game's success. Step into a world where four weeks in real life correspond to one in-game year. Witness the passage of time as each new season brings fresh opportunities and challenges. Thousands of races await you in every season, from entry-level maiden races to the highest stakes premier graded events. Horses of every level and price point have a chance to hit the podium and breed up over time. With its commitment to realism, Photo Finish Live brings the thrill of horse racing to life. As the seasons pass, horses retire to breed and eventually die, mirroring real-world horse racing to ensure long-term sustainability. Embrace renewed opportunities to showcase your skills and strategies, ensuring the excitement never ends. Are you ready to start your legacy in the world of Photo Finish Live? The tracks await. The competition beckons, and fame and fortune favor the bold. Become a part of this one-of-a-kind virtual horse racing ecosystem and let your dreams run wild. Join us today and embark on an unforgettable journey. The Sport of Kings awaits your presence in Photo Finish Live. And welcome back. My esteemed partner who really spent a lot of time setting up tonight. It looks like he's yes. really gotten his uh his, his streaming I setup am. in here. This is, yeah, Ed, we're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. I appreciate that. Um look in higher quality than you've ever seen me here. It is Derby Day, and we have so much planned. Oh my god. We were just talking about something quite exciting right before we popped on here. Uh, but it's gonna be a big one, man. Very, very yeah. big. This is a big night. We've got so many races under cards leading up to the Kentucky Derby itself. Everyone that's new or, or has been here, the reminder that the virtual Kentucky Derby is a massive grade one race in our virtual system. A lot of, um, you know, a lot of money on the line for the winner. But at this point, it's got a lot of prestige, as I think what a lot of these folks are fighting for at this point. The the ability to say that they are a derby champion, to turn Absolutely. their name red. Turn their um, name red in the Discord. Uh, everybody mm -hmm. knows it. Come breeding, come the breeding barn. You know, you walk around your Mr. Big stuff in there. You know, that's how it is. That's true. Yeah, that is a, a key detail is that uh, it's not often just winning the derby. That's that that is the goal, right? It is the taking that stallion into the old stud barn uh, for Absolutely. the rest of their life. So so we have an, a race upcoming here in, in just a few minutes, the, the starter of this evening, this uh, Bourbon County Stakes. But before yeah. we take a look at that, I did want to just sort of quickly talk about our fun sponsored race that happens at 7 p.m. so that people know to hang in there for an hour. 
And that is the dollar fifty hot dog steaks presented by uh, the Costco hot dog on Soul project. I mean, it's not presented by Costco. That's for no, sure. No, 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 not affiliated yeah. with Costco. But yeah, uh, they made a fan fiction token here, I believe, and uh, this token uh, has absolutely blown up. It's such a hilarious moment. We're looking at the chart here from our producer. I can't believe it. So these these guys were great. They wanted to put on a race in Photo Finish Live. They wanted to sponsor a race. We said, oh, sure. It sounds funny. You know, I'm a big fan. I love the meme. It's hilarious. Costco hot dog. <laughs> Why not? But yeah. now now it's not a joke. It's not all. a joke. How much yeah, did you say at the ridiculous. price right now that you're looking at? How much is the purse actually worth? So right now at the current price of Costco hot dog, we have, if you guys have been paying attention, there's 200,000 cost in the pool right now. So this is uh, incidentally one of our biggest, it turned out to be one of our biggest purses in accordance with this insane, this insanity on Solana. Uh, I'm sure everybody's kind of aware if you're tuning in, if you're not, uh, maybe, you know, you'll, you'll find something out today when we, you find out that this purse is now about $25,000. No, uh, the, <laughs> That's in there, so. the richest race in photo finish live history uh, yes. uh, close to it uh if not it is it's the biggest had... purse ever yeah but the the value could be zero tomorrow it could be a million dollars tomorrow who knows it could be even right? higher yeah it, it could be, be 50 higher tomorrow. yeah it could be more, but th that's the whole point. This is this is the fun of crypto. Oh my goodness, what an absolutely crazy world we're living in. So the hot absolutely. dog, dollar fifty hot dog steaks runs at seven. We've got twenty people competing. It was basically a dollar fifty entry fee, <laughs> and, and so a dollar fifty might turn into you said twenty seven k was the actual what, well, twenty five. Yeah, yeah. It, it, oh it looks like it touched. God. If it touched thirteen cents, that's twenty six thousand uh, dollars at oh that my. price. God, and it's up, you know, 70% on the 24 hours. What an amazing. So a lot, uh, the best of luck and wishes for the folks that are joining that race. Let's do this every week. Oh my God, just grab yeah. a random coin to sponsor and then throw in your horses for this. If you've uh, got a fire meme, line. you know where to find us. Yeah, Photo Finish Live on Twitter. <laughs> we're Let here. We're, we're, we're here to give your token, I guess it's utility. I don't know. Uh, we're giving <laughs> sure. your token some visibility. Yeah. Uh, but obviously what a blast how funny man I, i'm excited yeah. because this is and this race uh it bound to be a memorable one but here we are Absolutely. we've got urban county urban a county. very traditional horse race not sponsored and, uh -huh. by the hot dog in 20 seconds 20 seconds it's firing <laughs> up i want to say actually five seconds now i want to say two things the odds on favor going into this race out of vt hokey stable selena gomez okay selena mm. gomez uh a celebrity also a horse in our game but my <laughs> Pick is Lussie in the sky. I want to see him perform All right. today. So All right, head on down it. to the track. We've got our producer, Mo. You can go to full screen if you're there. Welcome again to our first major race. All right. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Fib. Pleasure to see you guys as always. Welcome in chat. Trickle, trickle. We got our nice little card for you here. Virtual Derby Day. It's the Bourbon County Stakes, and they are racing. Gandalf the Grey along with Supreme Zion. Going to break best of it along with Chaos at Dawn. Selena Gomez taking time off of the stage to join us here at four and a half to one. And comes Lassard, Swift, and Infiltrator. Going to round out the board here as they head out to shoot and on to the main track here in the six furlong left turning affair on the dirt. Track is fast for some grade one action. And it's Gandalf the Grey, Gandalf the Grey recruiting the army here trying to go after the ring and is going after the turn now as he dives in gandalf the gray at 17 to 1 not much luck here in the pools but trying to show people this is why you want to show up because anything could happen here on virtual derby day gandalf the gray chaos at dawn selena gomez still not too far off here but gandalf the gray is now opening up gandalf the gray shakes him up he's heading for home here comes selena zan is off the rail looking for tail gandalf the gray that lead goes from four to two real quick and goes to zero as Selena Gomez takes it over here. Selena Gomez can't think of any Selena Gomez songs, but looking good here to the wire. It's going to be Selena Gomez, Zana over Gandalf the Grey. My apologies. I listen to heavy metal. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, hey, good first race. Uh, absolutely thrilling there. You, you nailed that one. You said that was a favorite. I, I just missed it when you. Were, oh, uh, I didn't nail it, but the okay. I didn't nail it, but the Public average. Race. The average viewer, the average picker nailed it because that horse was about four and a half to one. Everybody else was double digits practically. And mm. uh, the chalk made it through. The chalk performed there. Selena Gomez, congratulations to VT Hokey, uh, longtime uh, racing stable, uh, mm -hmm. successful racing stable. So shout outs to him. 
But uh, next up, Bluegrass Commemorative. Bluegrass okay, Commemorative. Bluegrass Commemorative is the next undercard race on an exciting evening here of, Indeed. of degeneracy, memes, hot dogs, and horse racing. Hot dogs this and horse really racing. What we've wanted to see. I, my my best hope, uh, Fib, is that I switch over to the cost token and see it go up another twenty percent, and that would be. I mean, come on, that, yeah. What other what other token has gotten the utility of being in a meme token but has gotten the utility of being incorporated into a real uh, functioning <laughs> uh, game with thousands of players? You know. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. So the next race, you said Bluegrass Commemorative. This yes. is another Grade One. You've got to be three years old to to enter. You've got a fourteen horse field. Nine tell me who one. you are picking to win this one, and we'll also tell our producer so he knows. So the pick. odds on favorite, Dirty Diana's Year. Um, Dirty five. Diana's Year is the five horse. Uh, the D Dirty Diana's Year does look really good. I mean, Dirty Diana's Year, seven starts, five, uh, sorry, seven starts, two wins, um, five, five times on the podium. So 71% on the podium, looking pretty good. Uh, mm -hmm. But not, not total conviction here. I mean, uh, in terms of a chalk, a chalk pick, uh, still seven to one. So there's got to be room in this. Uh, yeah, if people this, fading venom. You know, a lot uh -huh. of a lot of big name horses here making their their appearance. S pluses here. Some hipster from, doofus uh, looks really good. Um, one of my favorites. I love yeah, hipster, hipster doofus. doofus. Great name. Uh -huh. Seven uh -huh. years old. Oh my god. Maybe now. Maybe that's why hipster doofus is being faded. <laughs> seven yeah. Years old. Yeah. Hipster doofus is the four at uh, seventeen yes. to one. Uh, another favorite of mine, Champagne Poison, a big big winner the other night. Right. Uh, that was. Yeah. Uh, that's the nine horse coming out of Wimbledon turf. Nostalgia and looks actually it's a pretty strong field in general. Nostalgia kind of is the up. eight. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah I was so trying to call the number just so we remember. Yes, yes. The eight horse. Yeah, the eight horse, thirty-one percent win rate um on this horse, four years old out of Galad. Uh big brain stables horse. So looking pretty good on that one. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. Dark so horse here, White Rose the ten. Uh, totally unraced at nine. And, you know, I was on, I have to, I have to give a shout out because this Tuesday I actually managed to, I was on after dark with Doughboy, and, uh, Do, the, there's, there's a principle that he likes to employ. That's basically like, if it has zero wins, uh, uh, it has as many wins as it's tried, but this horse has never tried it, but you just can't fade it. You can't fade the dark horse. So you gotta, you gotta give it a little credence, give it a little sprinkle. And I know that this, the fact this horse is, wasn't tested was reflected in the odds. I'm sure of it. So yeah, it's true. Keep that in mind. Yeah. Worth a shot. But yeah, looking at the stable sort of makeup here, I mean, you've got Ted racing the, the mysterious monster in the photo finish live ecosystem with three horses in this race, none of them under 10 to one odds. So no. uh, Ted racing, it's, it's like fading. I mean, I don't know if we would call him, uh, who would we call him in real life? He's not a Baffert because he's not necessarily a villain, uh, but he is this quiet no. dominant force that, Apparently, yeah. everyone fading uh, three horses in this race. I mean, all, it's not how often that I would do that. That seems like worth a look. Chong Fat, really good horse. Chong Fat, 50% uh, on the podium, lifetime with 40 starts. Um, Chong Fat's the 14 horse. Um, mm -hmm. That's one of the Ted Racing entrants here. And Chong Fat coming in 10 to 1. So it's like not even necessarily too high above the chalk. I think Chong Fat does enjoy a little bit of a little bit of action here. But that's, a, I mean, that seems like a really great Ted pick. Um, mm -hmm. although I don't see a lot of first, I don't see a lot of wins recently. Uh, eight, eight out of eight, three out of seven. I mean, maybe, mm -hmm. maybe it's going to come back a little bit here, but I mean, Time for a bounce, yeah, maybe possibly yeah, we'll see. Uh, I see a couple of, uh, questions. Uh, obviously if you're there in the chat, if you're on, we, we typically watch the YouTube chat. That's the easiest one for mm -hmm. me to look at. If you're on yeah. Twitch, maybe hop in. If you want to chat with us, feel free to drop it. I love seeing all the hot dog <laughs> emojis ripping by drop uh, the, the hot question. Dogs. When does cost show up? So the, the hot dog stakes is at 7 p.m. So 40-ish, 45-ish minutes from now, just mm -hmm. before the virtual Kentucky Derby. So we've got yes. quite a few races from now until then. If you're curious to see who's going to win this massive purse of dogs. You're uh, going to want to watch that race. That race is going to be incredibly special. We are excited to see that one go down. Uh, if you've got other picks in the chat, I'd love to hear who you love in this one? What's your exacta box? What's your trifecta? I love hearing it. What's your superfecta? I love doing the little fantasy here of, you know, let's imagine we have exotics. Who are you picking? I think in this race, I'm going to throw out there. I would probably, if I'm a betting man, which of course I'm not. And if this was betting, no. which it isn't. It's um, not even betting. Yeah, that's right. But if if it were, if I'm at the track and are I see Are you a picking this, man though? You know, I am a picking man. I would definitely throw in 
four and three into an exacta box, and then I probably would throw in the five. So I'm I'm going three, four, five exacta box. If you're here with me and tailing me, let me know in the chat, and uh, we'd love to see. Another question I saw in the chat is the cost race winner take all. No, we will no. do the purse just like we always do, which is the 60, 30, 10 sort of, but yeah. it's not quite. It's exactly close to that. If you go to Wikipedia and look up the 1975 Florida distribution of purses, that's basically what we do, yes. uh, which allows for kind of a 1% of all uh, purse kind of thing going to all participants so that it's not such a uh, winner-take-all thing. There's now, we do need more. to do some races like that, Fib. What yeah. are we Next race around, let's find some DGen coin that is uh, winner-take-all. Everyone goes in. We like the winner-take-alls too, yeah, for sure, for sure. All right. Well, let's head on down to the race. I believe we're here. Three, four, five for me. Do you have a pick? I like. I'm not going to give an exacta. I like the. I like the one horse tap route out of Miami Nation. This is a right turf race. You can't fade Miami Nation in a right turf. So let's see it. All right. Mo, take it away. All right. Welcome back to the track, Jack. They are online. And they're off in the Bluegrass Commemorative, live from virtual Churchill Downs. Taproot from down at the rail, along with Problematic, show good early speed. Chong Fat on the outside, also getting involved. Dirty Diana digs in for fourth with Hipster Doofus. Not too far up the pace here in fifth, make it Super Dynamite. And Psylocke, as these two tussle in the early going, past the wire for the first time in this nine furlong right turning affair on the turf. Good track. Good day for some grade one racing. And Tabroot looks to hold on here. Engaged on the outside. Here comes Problematic, 17 to 1. And Problematic is just that. As Problematic trying to get inside here and takes the lead over Tabroot. Chong Fat about four off of these two. Then comes Psylocke with feats of strength. Super Dynamite rounds out the board. And here comes the Bronze Bomber. Bronze Bomber finds some room looking for smooth sailing, but might have clipped heels there with Dirty Diana as things are really, really getting involved here in the middle of the pack. Back to the front, half mile and 48 and chain. Things are picking up. Taproot, problematic. He's still, du still duking it out. It's Muhammad Ali and George Frazier going at it over and over again. It's problematic. Takes it over. I don't even know if I have boxing history right. This is why we don't do it on the show. Problematic and Chong Fat. Taproot in third. Psylocke around the bend. I'll do better for the real derby call. Dirty Diana in fifth. And Bronze Bomber still hanging tight as they hit the top of the stretch and they head for home. Shaking them. There goes Problematic. Problematic. That lead is only two as Taproot now is in full sail. Taproot trying to engage down the center of the track. Here comes Chong Fat. Dirty Diana not exactly out of it. Problematic. One final push. Taproot down low. Chong Fat on the outside. Chong Fat. Everybody Chong Fat tonight. Oh. It's going to be Chong Fat bringing home the dub over Taproot and Problematic. Wow. Great race. Great call, Mo. That reminded me of George Frazier and the Thriller of Manila. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Close enough. George let's, let's Foreman, move on. Joe let's, Frazier. Let's on. I think that's where we probably were ending up. Hey, I got it. I got. I understood where you're saying. George, George Frazier. Another way. Hey, what did I say? Ted Racing. Do not fade. Ted Racing. Look at that. I did, of course, I also said 345, which was nowhere close not quite right my, but hey back, yeah for, for, or my, my, it? yeah my my last minute pick there taproot looking amazing couldn't quite close it out and of course chong fat the top ted racing pick on that one and uh super dynamite we didn't even touch on super dynamite that horse had a hundred percent win rate going into that race and uh and we just skipped it the second yeah, hey. yeah the second odds on favorite uh we were, we're, we're talking us. about you know we we're talking about other things but hey yeah. didn't make it into the top three so whatever right <laughs> we know don't challenge us all right we know um, so yeah moving on to the next race i, I see a couple of questions in, in the chat about the um the pick pools for uh costs so yeah we were planning on having a sort of bonus pick pool with all of this hot dog <laughs> but uh something messed up as we said no no ketchup ketchup was missing ran out uh, yeah. So we'll do another one. Uh, we'll we'll maybe we'll do it next weekend, or uh, just yeah. kind of check the schedule. Maybe an after dark night where we will juice the uh, pick pools with cost, which will be a lot of fun. Uh, this is a good first test to see what kind of crossover audience there is with hot dogs and horse <laughs> racing. I don't know. <laughs> has it always been there? And we hand never in hand. 
<laughs> yeah, and I guess so, you know. Um, Horse dogs. Maybe, maybe not. Um, so, anyway, moving on to the next race, we are getting closer and closer to this epic mm-hmm. cost and derby finale. But uh, I think we we like a lot of the big studs that we're seeing in this one. I see Ted racing all over the field again. Of course you do. Of course it's you do. Ted racing in big brain. But this is a monster race, a 12 furlong right turning race. Uh, one thing that I just thought about. Yeah, there's the, the odds of this happening are high, chat. I'm going to let you let you in on a secret. I don't think we've ever tested every furlong distance at Churchill Downs. So there is a good shot <laughs> looking at these setups that horses are going to be running through cars in the parking lot. Um, and if you see it, it'll no be exciting. Way. Oh, man, I didn't we'll think all, of that. We'll all laugh. But I remember, you know, every every single month I make the joke, oh, it's funny that we're running Bourbon County in, in Hong Kong. But I'm pretty sure no one checked all the furlong setups. And Churchill has a specific setup. So it might happen, chat. And if you if it does, we're all here to laugh and laugh. No one it's will be night. mad at us. It'll yeah, be don't be mad. Don't be mad. Yeah, it's a night of exotic real. fancies. It's a night of it's a night of strange <laughs> happenings and interest inter, an, an interesting April evening. Yeah, yeah. A lot of uh mystique on the evening, I feel Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yes. Um we're you thank you for tuning in, chat. You're not watching WWE uh, whatever. What's the is it is it WrestleMania tonight? Yeah. So maybe maybe we're just the lead into WrestleMania. Regardless. I, so. I know it's where Brian is on our team. He's tuned in hard to wrestle oh yeah uh but all right so we've got a big one here area 41 out of hazy hills hazy hills our friend uh that's sting's crew right out of the 10 thing run by sting stable run by woloff that horse 50 percent win rate five wins out of 10 starts 80 percent on the podium 83 mm-hmm. max fleet s plus out of churro and gorilla glue looking amazing honestly mm-hmm. um looking amazing but the, that's the 12 horse, by the way. The 11 horse, just scrolling up a little bit. The 11 horse out of Breaking Bad, uh, also 50% win rate. This time, a little bit less on the podium at basically two-thirds on the podium uh, with an 81 max fleet. So totally competitive, The actually with a higher average fleet figure than Area 41. I mean, that's an easy, that'd be an easy fade pick to me. And mm. that horse came in at, you know, almost two two, two uh, integers higher, seven to one rather than, oh, well, one. Because Area 41 came in. Two integers? Are you a yeah. robot? <laughs> well, I, tra- I was trying to do two, and then I was like, "What? How can I say it? it's not really two times higher?" Two points. Uh, I panicked. All right, I'm, oh, I panicked. All right, I panicked. I, I lost it. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I love this new. The good. A good question in the chat. Do we know if any of the horses have three star on concrete? Um, we'll see. <laughs> we yeah. will see if that's going to happen. Like I said, if we if we somehow narrowly avoid that bullet, I'll be impressed. And then yes, yeah, second we've got Fib versus Ian Hell in a Cell match. I hope so. TLC ladder match. I don't care that Fib's been shooting calcium into his shoulders for the last year. Every I'll take day. it down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll just pull. I'll pull. I'll let you. I'll let you beat me, man. I just. Lo- I just love you so much, Ian. I'll just let you. T- I'll just let you beat me up, dude. <laughs> so we've got another big. I mean, this is uh, what do we got in the purse? This is starting in just a mere twenty-five seconds. We need to head down. Seconds. Champagne fever. Champagne. What did champagne fever come in? Another. This field is nuts, man. Who's your pick? Let's hear it. We got twenty seconds. I like champagne fever. I. I, I think champagne, champagne fever is well seven. Tested, ready to take it. The seven Let's is your pick to click. Uh, mm-hmm. I am going to follow Capella out of Ted Racing again. Why not? The guy's a monster. I'm going with Ted. Yeah, I can't fade so, Ted. No uh, let's way. see. If we're doing exact a box, I'll go 7, 12, uh, 9. 7, 9, 12. Exact 7, 9, 12. Head on down to the track. Welcome to Churchill Downs. I hope you're near the parking lot. We're going to see how this goes. Whew, boy, I think it's going to happen, but it might not. Oh, race isn't loading. That's possible. Another <laughs> Maybe outcome. the parking yes. lot. The parking lot at might has gotten us. I don't know. Again, this is a 12 furlong race. There's always a chance that something has gone wrong. Hey, we get to talk our way through it. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, I'm not sure. We can. I can just check the old uh, team Slack messages to see they're going. Oh my god. Oh my god. What happened? Let's find out what's happening. Uh, I mean, it's you likely know, a little bit of a. Yeah, yeah. Keep talking, Fib. I'll. See well, we didn't get to talk about Jubuary, um mm. out of Absolute Jubuary. Absolute. We haven't seen Absolute. 
so much on the board, but I've definitely seen some. I mean, the last the uh, there was a horse named vaguely after Absolute, but I'm looking for an Absolute W. I'm looking for I'm looking for Stens to show back up, um, taking some of these big races. I feel like it's been a little while, and the man, you know, he's he's in there. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. kind of surprised. Biohazard also looks amazing out of big brain stables. Another one is how many horses are going to come in with a 50% win rate into this race, man? Like how do you compete with that? You got to be the, the way that we are honing these horses is absolutely nuts these days. It uh, is getting pretty wild. Like how yes. good some of these horses are getting. Um, but I think uh combination of how yeah. good they're getting and maybe how good people mm-hmm. are getting at playing, you know, just like the just, right. you know, part, part of the, when you look at these records, Part of it is the horse's ability, and part of it's the 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 uh, the stable owner's ability in choosing. So you're seeing a combination of that when you see these numbers. Mm-hmm. Um, that's why you start seeing a trend on some of these stables as well, because it's not just that some of these people have monstrous stables with amazing horses; it's that they know what they're doing. And that combination is why you're seeing them up here. I mean, today's the big day. This is this is the big leagues. This is so the big have leagues. a fifty percent win rate coming into these undercards. I guess you know it's insane. I- I agree. I think there's something to that sort of like uh, it's got the same vibe as poker where it's just sort of like, well, if it's poker, man, he keeps getting dealt pocket aces. Like, of course, he's going to beat me. But it's like, no, it's not that if that were the case, why are the same people in the you know final table each year? No, it's um, too much, too much, too, too much of a number skill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, if Mint Julep doesn't run, we've got the team. They're taking a look at it. We'll talk our way through it. Uh, if it Absolutely. doesn't run. Uh, we've got, I don't know how many more races that'll run this one, as I say, maybe it's a, a late scratch Lacey mentioned, maybe, uh, maybe there's a little bit of a drama going down at the gate in the, the broadcast team doesn't want to show it. Uh-huh. That happens, you know, it's like there's a jockey down there trying to get back on the horse. Everyone's yeah. I think Leo nervous. Tolstoy bit the ear off one of the, the jockeys and <laughs> they're picking it up. They're sewing it back on. Uh, that's very possible. It's very possible. <laughs> this is our kid. It's just a, you, you're coming into the, the competition today. I mean, it's pretty fierce. You, who knows what's going on, you know, in the stables and the before this, before these races, what they're snapping under these horses noses, you know, who knows? What's happening. Oh God, no, I hope not. Uh, that's, that is very, very, uh, oh, okay. So apparently the SIM died. Uh, that's what the, the SIM box died. I don't know what happened. Yeah. So maybe something horribly wrong happened. Hey, it's oh, all right. Man. You know we're we're uh, living and and uh, uh, whatever we're fine. Uh, we could jump to the next one. We'll we'll come back around. We'll see the results of this. We'll probably. I mean, the Red up. River Run starts in four minutes, so we got yep. that's still it's still not even enough time to fully cover that one. So yeah, why not? so we'll jump to that. Technical difficulties on the old twelve furlong. Uh, I think at this point we've got a six furlong run. I feeling good about this one. This should this should run pretty well. So what's your pick yeah. to click the six horse on the uh, Red River Run? Well, the six horse odds on favorite seven to one. This is a juvenile race. Every horse is two years old. You're going to be seeing some talent here. Uh, this is a six furlong left dirt. The the cool thing about these last races, uh, I remember when we were making these when we were making these uh, events. The interesting thing about this is it's kind of a it's kind of just a one season early um, Twin Spire sprint in this case because it's six furlong. So a lot of these horses you're seeing next seasons. Uh, major competitors so you gotta you gotta pay attention here you gotta pay attention here and no surprises who you're seeing uh you know we got soma he's a former derby winner uh mm-hmm. you know he maybe he, he took this horse maybe this horse is related to uh king's coronation maybe um but mm-hmm. king's coronation was his champion winner we got gvg uh you know golden way dryney park i mean we got all the big boys in here i see ysm i'm always rooting for ysm a little bit man who doesn't love peeb right uh, oh you gotta love peeb yes but yeah, I mean, that's the eight horse, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a pick? Pick to click? Uh, not so the thing, I mean, the good thing about it is it is the end of the season. So we have like you do have a little bit of data on these horses. Um, I mean, I kind of like mm, I kind of like the one out of Soma. It is off preference, but it's got Lussy Juice as the sire, 81 max fleet as a two-year-old, which is super high. Uh, respectable record, 100% on the podium, one one win um, out of three starts here at this distance, but not a soft runner. That's the only that's the only negative of this horse uh, when evaluating for this particular race. I mean, this ra- this horse is a firm horse, the number one. Um, so, I mean, 
it's not a firm horse rather it's a soft horse no it's a firm horse sorry but this it's a soft race and uh it's run four soft races and hasn't won a single one so it's a little bit bearish on that record in that regard but you know it mm-hmm. looks good besides that i mean how about whispering wind the four have you checked that out whispering wind four starts two wins and then seven starts on soft with four wins um and still a great fleet figure for a two-year-old and s minus here with a 50% win rate on six and a 57% win rate on soft. So looking really good. Honestly, mm-hmm. Whispering Wind looks great. But Freckles, I mean, do you think maybe Freddy outclassed Wind. here? No, no, I mean, uh, obviously, I mean, running 73, but looking at, you know, so a lot of these horses running in the high 70s, uh, do you think that uh, it's still a little bit out of their class? Or, you know, what do you think on Whispering Wind? The thing about it's Whispering Wind is that Whispering Wind, Whispering Wind, the YSM entry. So first of all, I'm rooting, I'm rooting for Peeb. I'm rooting for Peeb. It's a Peeb horse. You know, I'm, I'm rooting for Peeb. Uh, you know, we haven't seen Peeb take any of these big races, I think, recently. Maybe maybe a few seasons ago. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, I mean, it is an undercard. But still, I mean, yeah, I like that this it's the fleet figures maybe aren't as aren't the highest, but it is fully on preference. So it's kind of like in in a in a mode and in, in a mode where it could. And then also it has a decent record recently that seems like it's literally going four, three, two, one, four, three, two in terms of placement. So maybe it's mm-hmm. one. This race. Ready, moving up yeah. and ready. The uh-huh. heart is is growing substantially yeah. larger with every single. Right. Race. And they are too. So maybe it's on, it is on that <laughs> upward trajectory. Uh, uh, Luminoso also looks really good for this race. Luminoso. Well, which uh, number there? The That's six. the six, the favorite, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You like the chalk. I do like the chalks. Chalk at seven to one is respectable, man. Like a seven mm. to one chalk. I mean, are That's you true. mad at seven times your derby? I'm not mad at that. I'm no, mad. no. I'm definitely When it makes not sense, it makes sense. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. When you get a seven to one, if you get a, would that be a seven X? I guess it'd be a seven X. If you got a seven X on an NFT, you're flipping out, right? Yeah. You're happy. Yeah. So you, mm-hmm. you know, you're tossing down. I mean, you're going to, you, you probably, I mean, it's still 90 K derby in the pot. So it's not like, it's yep. definitely a nice little, nice little day at the races. Nice little day at the yep. track. Yeah. Well, I see Lino in the chat. He's going eight, nine, ten on his. Um, I don't know if he's doing trifectas or if he's doing exacto boxes like me. Eight, nine, ten does sound pretty good. I'm not going to hate on that pick one bit. Um, I think uh, at this point we are ready for the Red River Run. It looks like it's loaded. Uh, the bo- broadcast team is back at it. We're back. We're so <laughs> back. Head on down. We're so back. Head on down to this juvenile grade one. Mo, take it away. Thank you, boss man. Yeah, apologies on the last one. That was actually uh, my fault. Uh, Overdid the calcium this weekend. Needed a quick bathroom break. But we're back here. It's the Red River Run, and they're off and racing here in the six furlonger. Silver Tongue breaks best of it in between horses with Jews, Bias, Lady of the Wood, also there in the early charge. Supreme rising back and forth. Then comes Beautiful Day and a Whispering Wind. Going to round out the board here as they head into the... First and only turn here in this sprint, and it's Driney Park Runner here at 15 to 1, the S Silvertongue. Silvertongue built up some two and a half length lead over at Luminosa. Juju's by is still there at the rail, trying to find some room, and there they go. Off to the races now. If they can sneak by, they got something here. Juice Bias trying to engage yet again, but Silvertongue repels the challenge. It's Silvertongue off again. Silvertongue, here comes Crystal Queen. Sweeping move on the outside, along with second press. These two are trying to get it here, but they are hung wide. Silvertongue, that lead still three and a half. Juice Bias back on the howl, and here he goes. It's Juice Bias. That lead is only two. Make it a half. Make it coming up alongside. It's Juice Bias. Juice Bias going to go right on by. There's a squeeze you later. Juice Bias going to bring it over Silvertongue and Lady of the Wood. Shout out mm. to GBG. GVG Genetics. Congrats to GVG. Congratulations. What a nice run out of that beautiful two year old. Little hint of gray, little hint of brown. Yeah, uh, juice uh, bias, man. Juice bias. Juice bias. We didn't have that one. one anywhere. No, we didn't. I mean, juice bias has run six furlongs one time. One of these, one of these doughboy picks, man. And one of these doughboy picks, I'm mm-hmm. learning. Doughboy, if you're watching, I'm learning. Okay. I see the I see the blank record and I realize that the blank record is in some ways as strong due to the odds ratio as a full record. Mm -hmm. Yep, that absolutely makes sense. So next up is the Twin Spire Sprint. Is that correct? It is. The Twin Spire Sprint is up. So basically the three year old version of kind of what we just watched, but one furlong short, I believe five furlongs tonight. Yep. 
for that one. This is a major. I mean, there's what a seven thousand dollars in the pot on this one. So wow. you know, still huge, huge night. I mean, including the, I mean, the whole night. What is it like twenty eight k, and then plus another twenty six is a uh, basically a over fifty thousand dollar night here on a casual Saturday evening. Uh, photo yeah. finish live. It's casual for you. I'm wearing a freaking sport coat, guy. Look at true. me. True. Yeah, Thanks. casual. Well, hey. You know, casual for fib. Casual uh, for me with a nice juicy pick pool. I love seeing the pick pools build up like this. 155k, uh, a yep. lot of liquidity. Let, let's hear the chat. I'd love to hear what the big big the big uh, picks to click are in the chat. We'll throw in yours and we will uh, judge you and make fun of you or agree with you. Uh, I do Any think that field. there's a you know you got a destables crew at 28 to one. It's hard to fade some of those, but this is a big big field these 20 horse fields at five furlongs i mean kind of craziness to even watch and pick and I'm, I'm sure our our race caller mo uh, has to love these trying to even figure out which horse is which and then they're done uh yeah. so these are pretty wild i do want to these... point out oh, oh go sorry ahead. yeah for anybody that's making picks especially on these majors the majors open up earlier than the undercards you have about a day and they do have bigger fields and we open them up. We open them up earlier. You can do your homework. You can check in because when you get these pools like this, you know, there's actually a nice place pool, nice little show pool on it too. Uh, mm -hmm. scoop it all up, do your homework and you can, you know, come out with some breeding money, maybe come out with some, uh, some, some horse, even maybe you could claim a horse with, uh, what you win here tonight. So just saying, yeah. I'm excited yeah. in this one. I was just looking through, and then I also saw it in chat that uh, DeFi Bookie, a, a project that runs on Solana, those guys uh, formed a stable, pretty formidable crew themselves, uh, mm -hmm. building their own stable up. They've got the six horse, uh, if you're able to look at that. This is yeah. one of their first uh, big majors, I believe, that they've qualified and gotten in. Pretty strong looking horse, but sitting at 20 to 1. So you never know. Maybe a long shot there. Zephorius, I suppose. Sitting at uh, 20 to 1, Elvis Sire. So out of Elvis, these uh, they they obviously came in. They know a little something because they know that Elvis is the, you know, the king, mm -hmm. baby. And he uh, <laughs> this horse does have a this horse does have a nice fleet figure max 82. Um, doesn't have any wins and is off preference in one regard, but you know. It's a 20 horse race. It's an Elvis sire. There's a good chance that this horse has something going on and beaten in the chest. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. we'll have to see about that. I see. We've got uh, um, JKL Ross in the chat uh, calling Space Warrior the three horse as um, a big fan, as well as the 18 and the 11. But uh, Space Warrior is looking kind of strong there on the stars, on the preferences here. You know, obviously a big fan of the track, a good condition, left dirt horse. What's sort of the history there on Space Warrior, though? The three. The three, yeah. I mean, Space Warrior fully on preference. This horse is an S- minus with nine preference stars. So just right out the gate, this horse is, is where it's in the pocket. Now, in mm -hmm. terms of distance, maybe not so much. I mean, it, the, the reason that I say that is because lifetime, this horse has a 20% win rate and a 50% podium rate. However, at five furlongs, sitting at about a 12% win rate, 37% on the podium, um, coming off of a decent second place uh, out of a 12 horse race on five furlongs. So basically in the same, in a similar situation to here, a little bit faring a little bit better on the, on a good track, the good condition that we find ourselves here at the twin spire sprint uh, with two wins out of nine starts. Still uh, actually, I, I scrolled on down to the 18 and I, I do like the 18 morning girl looks amazing for sure. Three years old with an 89 max fleet. I mean, this is a GVG genetics horse. Um, one, you know, one of these mag massive stables. We just saw GVG genetics W. Uh, mm -hmm. Looking amazing, man. Looking amazing. Although, what's really interesting about this horse, uh, which makes it kind of a dark horse, seventy average fleet, eighty nine max fleet. So, what kind of peak is that, man? Wow, that's, that's mm -hmm. absolutely wild to me. Yeah, yeah. Some of these are real beasts. I mean, we're getting into the deeper generations now. We're getting into these really, obviously, seeing a lot of familiar names in these in these uh, uh, races. The D stables, the big brains, the JPEG lords, uh, GVG folks that are uh, you know really diving into their bloodlines. Uh, if you're new to photo finish, I think uh, this is one of the most interesting things about this game is that the best horses are yet to come and, and always, I mean, there is a lot of headroom to grow into. So though we are seeing great horses today, uh, every single season, people are trying to figure out new ways and new angles to attack and go into. And so I think that's one of the coolest parts of this game, to be honest, totally. is that it isn't like, Oh, if you didn't get in early, you're just going to get, 
you know, mopped up every single season. It's not that at all. It's actually growing and growing and growing every single season. People are continuing to try and get, get better and better and better on their, a lot, a lot of times on their own bloodlines, but then they're also like reaching out. Oh, I need to grab a little bit of mm -hmm. you know, a Solonaut stud to, to bring that in to my line or, or what have you. So, uh, super, super exciting uh, to see that. I did see in the chat people already discussing one of the pools that we did set up. Uh, we'll, uh, we're going to jump down to the track, but we'll talk about the high low pool on the SS minus when we get back. Uh, assuming this race loads. That's good. And if they run in the parking lot, we'll see. <laughs> Welcome back. Go ahead, Mo. All right, here we go. We got ourselves a sprint coming up, Twin Spire Sprint. And. They're off. No sound. Colonel Liam breaks best of it along with Charbonnet. Then comes Space Warrior. Alexander Pushkin and Great Reflection trots along here in fifth. And Arbitrage going to round out the board here as this field is tight up front. And they make their way into the first and only turn. Blink. And it's over. Chad in this five furlong sprint. JPEG Lord Stable shows the way as Chiso's Ranger. Chiso's Ranger at 26 to 1. Held that quick lead, but Great Reflection is going to take it back. Great Reflection now, the leader. Here comes Gridiron. Here comes Cocktail. Night Juice and Morning Girl. Anybody's race here. Insert coin. Here comes New Challenger. Great Reflection. Swallowed and gone. Morning Girl now the new leader. Here comes Cocktail. One final surge. Arbitrage along with Metallic Hydrogen. Metallic Hydrogen says, stick to me. I'll take you places. It's Metallic Hydrogen going to take home this one over Morning Girl and Arbitrage. Big brain. Nice. Excellent nice. finish. I never know when when I'm unmuted. Or maybe I'm always unmuted. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. good. good. <laughs> so I'm sitting here like dead air. Uh, the eight big one. Did you have that one? No. No, I did have, have. I did anything. have morning. I I gave the shout out to Morning Girl. I was you know I was feeling very vindicated, and then Metallic Hydrogen came out of the woodwork. Metallic Hydrogen. What was the odds on this horse, Metallic Hydrogen? The eight, uh, seven, eight, seven, seven. Oh, se okay, still seven yeah. to one. Seven to one and a C of twenty-eight to one. So still kind yeah. of a modest bet, but not. I mean, hey, seven to yeah. one. Still, I mean, seven, seven to one. Seven to one's great, really. No, but, uh, yeah, you again, you'd be so happy with that if you got that uh -huh. anywhere else. Uh, if uh, absolutely, if your local yeah, I mean, Fairwinds Lusty Credit Juice. Union offered you seven to one, you'd take it, I think. I imagine so. Yeah. <laughs> I see Liberty Tree in the chat drilled it. Uh, congrats on that one. Liberty Tree. We love Tree. seeing Liberty drilling it, man. Uh huh. As always. Keep on drilling it in the free world, Liberty. Yeah. He, Liberty had 18 win place with the eight and the nine for win. So mm. uh, solid. Nailed it. Got the eight. Yeah. Sniped it. I didn't Beautiful. see where the, I didn't see where the place ended up. But uh, okay. So here we are. We are getting closer and closer so to close. an epic moment. Um, and the good news is that our broadcast team was actually able to recover the lost footage from the 12 for a long race, but I don't know if we even have time to cut into it and watch. We have it. seven minutes. We could cut, we could actually cut to okay. that race, watch it and cut back. If that's We're possible. We're doing it live. We're doing it live here. So live. How, po how possible is that, Mr. Producer? Okay. So it's the Mint Julep Memorial, uh, a 12 for long affair. I believe we can watch the race replay heading back to the truck from uh in the last let's play that right one back there. all right let's run it back we did it all right welcome back everybody to a totally live non-recorded version here of i'm not recorded it, it no, that's not it, it. it. the coalition <laughs> not classic it. claiming that it loaded uh, that's okay definitely not that oh, that is definitely okay <laughs> I just wanna, that's what like all right production team on the fly you are fired uh it's Gone. Yeah, get this intern right. out of here. That, yeah, that, the Chadwick, yeah. executive Chadwick producer. Is fired. Yeah. All now we got right, the let's try. Uh, rewind. Uh, One more time for the fans. Doing it live, chat. Doing it live. Um, you know, by the way, might be out of a job soon. Anyway, back to a major race. Here we go. Is the Mint Julep Memorial totally live, non-pre-recorded race replay here on Photo Finish. And they're off. It's Biohazard, Jupiter. These two waited a long time to get out of the gate, and here they go, charging with all of their being. Jupiter, Capella, Biohazard, along with Grasshopper, Leo Tolstoy, up from the grave and back onto the track, apparently. 
is running alongside with Cerritos as these six are tucked in together and making their way into the first turn of this marathon event. 12 furlongs, right turf fair track is yielding for this grade one event. And Grasshopper in the meantime at 19 to one, showing no mercy over the pack, holds away. Cerritos still there, here comes Capella. Capella cuts right through it and takes over second here as Cerritos is dropping back. Gonna give up some leeway here as Billy Goat, Jeep Uary, and Vladivostok, Vladivostok even, are gonna come down with the pack, pass the clubhouse for the first time, half mile in the books in 50 and change. And we got a new leader. We got a horse race, it's Capella. Capella, everybody wave to your leader here at 15 to one. Remember it's a 12 furlonger. Hopefully all horses involved remember to run around again. But in the meantime, Capella shows the way. Grasshopper is still there. Vladivostok and Billy Goat, these two tucked in with a battle of their own, might be battling it out for placements, but Capella continues to pour it on as Grasshopper makes move after move and rejected. Here we go, we got five furlongs left to go. Will they hit the concrete? Will they hit the finish wire? Stay tuned, find out, and we are making our way down the backstretch one final time. That leader still Capella, Grasshopper, no change there, one, two, another break of four and a half. Cerritos with a resurgence. And Vladivostok, campaign fever, Bibb's favorite, making a move now at six and a half to one. Might have something if good enough today. Let's find out. Round around the far turn they go. Capella, Cerritos. Who wants to go? It's Cerritos now. Cerritos, the bad step by Capella from first to completely off the board as Cerritos and Triunfo. Triunfo, the new name here, saving all that energy for the final run. Shaking them up, heading for home, 200 meters to go. Triunfo went from not even being known about to taking the lead and pouring it on to a five and a half length win over Vladivostok and Cerritos. All they can do is chase on. Triunfo says, I'll send you a postcard. JPEG Lord Stables over Breaking Bad and other JPEGs, the JPEG sandwich. We did it. Good replay. Solid run. That was a, that was a heck of a race. <laughs> I give it a 7 out of 10 on production. Turned out pretty well, pretty well. Hey, yeah. it went, I we think did it went fire great. the intern. The intern is you know, walking back to the trailer. Ian, your, uh, your, half, a, your random half-court shot to, uh, to Capella was playing out for... 10 furlongs of that race. Yeah, too bad. Too bad, Capella. Uh, almost. Absolutely Not enough in the old cliff. tank. So now we're going to the Twin Spires Gallop. We are going to have to rush yes. into this. Maybe we don't talk about the field. We talk a little bit about what is this. This is an eight furlong affair. Again, we're at Churchill Downs. It's left. It's dirt. This is a little bit softer track right now. Looks like maybe some sprinkles came in while we were uh, away. <laughs> at our break and in this race you've got some of the you know some more famous names the super lucy the logger heart a couple of big names in here but this is another 20 horse field now phil did they have to qualify what did they have to do like to earn their shot at this free seven thousand dollar race and if you're watching this how do you work your way into this race so during the season there's uh there are qualifier races i believe the pro the, the week prior to the the race running um, you qualify for this race. Uh, this specific race is a new addition. This is the mid-distance major. So this is a mid-distance major that we have uh, eight furlongs, uh, basically seven to nine furlongs is considered mid-distance in, uh, in our game in horse racing at large, I imagine. And uh, so what they did was they qualified through mid-distance um, on, on archetype left dirt races. So what you see here, horses that made it, the horses with the most points out of 20 horses to qualify for the race made it into this race. So you've got um, a leaderboard, you know, you, yes. there's a, a series of races. So let's say that you're interested in photo finish live. You think about buying a horse. You'll see that, Hey, there's a, a series of races leading up to these big, you could call them free rolls, I suppose, but you've got to qualify. And it's just like real life. This is exactly how the road to the Derby works, which is kicking off and has been running for, in real life mm -hmm. for this whole time. So all these horses are working their way. They want to get into the Derby, but in order to do so, they have to earn qualifying points. It's very similar to many sports. Golf does similar things. A NASCAR right. does similar things. Uh, but the road to the Derby, one of the most magical moments here of horse racing where there's races happening all over the world. There's one in Louisiana. There's one in Tampa. There's one in uh, Japan. They're, you know, they're trying to 
uh, expand the horse racing you know industry at large. And so we're doing the same thing here. You're trying to get yourself into one of these big races. You know, yeah, it might be a little bit of a grind to try and get in, but really, as long as you can win a big race, then you do have a place at the table, which is usually ends up, you know, obviously this is going to be well worth it uh, and the struggle if you can end up winning this. So we've got 20 seconds to post. Um, even I don't know if I have any winners here. A payday. Even taking fifth place is a payday in a race like this. Yeah. So you do get that payoff at the end of your reward. If Even if you qualify out of 20, you just have to be in the top 20 horses to qualify. So, I mean, I think it's yep. a great, I think it's a great risk it reward. Great. It is. It is absolutely. So we've got uh, in the chat, we've got 3918 from uh, Lino and we've got Loggerheart, Juicy Facts, Spartan Dreams. So that will be three. Uh, I can't scroll. I'm scrolling. Uh, Odds on three, favorite. 18, Super lusty. 31819 for out of uh, Troy there, the 18 from Latuda. So I believe we are. We, I believe we are having a little bit of challenge with the. Uh, 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 let's see. We've got a. Mm, yeah, we got technical difficulty again. Uh, we're we're waiting for this one to load up. It might be a little bit slower than we think. Hey, okay. Well, you know what? Now we've got some time to discuss <laughs> this field again. So, looking at the chat, we've got eighteen uh, showing up on everyone's board. This juicy facts out of GVG Genetics. Juicy Fib, you're facts. Looking, what's the bloodline that would that would tease this horse being a pick to click? on this track here uh well it's so it's out of lussy juice I, i've been seeing so many lussy juice horses today um uh, so many out of lussy juice juicy facts looks so good on this race nine wins out of 20 starts i mean this horse is three years old and has run half of the races found the pocket at some point in its lifespan in the two seasons it's been running and drilled 20 horses into eight furlongs this horse is in the pocket man so it's looking great 84 max 71 average fleet 45% win rate going into a major. That's huge. Uh, Spartan Dream doesn't look that bad either. Out of loggerhead. SRQ Racing, too. That's a newcomer. That's the 19 horse, Spartan Dream. Uh, mm -hmm. Two wins out of 10 starts. I mean, oh, are we? Or, oh, never mind. Okay. Uh, Not quite. <laughs> we'll yeah, 20% 20, 20 win rate, 70% on the podium. Absolutely, totally respectable fleet figures here. Um, what, what, what did I want to I want to explore Troy's pick specifically. Shout outs to Troy. We absolutely love Troy. I want to. I want to highlight. I want to feature Troy's picks here. His acumen. Mm. What was what, what was his exact Ian? So high octane picked Loggerheart, uh, who I believe was the seven. Uh, let's see the the Loggerheart, three. A Wimbledon turf. Yeah, Wimbledon mm -hmm. turf uh, horse. Loggerheart six wins out of fifteen starts, looking great. Seventy nine max fleet, but a seventy four average fleet. So actually higher than I think the 18 on average, 40% win rate, 80% on the podium, looking really good. Uh, three wins yeah. on 10 starts on a soft track too, so. Yeah, 3, Air. 18, 19 was okay. the uh, pick to click there out of uh, <laughs> out of high octane. Yeah, fair enough, man. Fair enough. I, I mean, I see a lot of uh, Liberty Tree also picking the 18 and the three. Um, it looks like our, our, I'm hearing from our tech team, the uh, the broadcast is currently filming. This uh, They're, they're uploading. Uh, the, the race yeah, just a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a delay for we're on, we're here Under. in our, we're in mm -hmm. the third time lunar base and it has to make its way out of the atmosphere and come right mm. to us Naturally. for us to broadcast it. Yes. Naturally. Yeah. Yeah. This is how it goes. You know, the dark side of the moon. We, mm -hmm. we uh, have a little bit of a delay with, with all of the popularity. I mean, it's just a scale problem. If you've been using Solana, I think um, you're used to this sort of delay at this point lately. Uh, sponsor title sponsor. What do you do? What What do you do when you get a delay, Ian, uh, on your mm -hmm. Solana transactions? How do you cope? That's a great that? question. So I'm a programmer. I try to like actually write code to make these transactions go through. You know what I mean? What's uh, your hit rate? Since you got uh, so, since you're in the know like that. Well, once you do uh, some coding with your transactions, you typically can get uh, one out of seventeen to twenty to, to fire. But you can do that in you know, roughly three to 10 seconds uh, ah, if, you do it, if you do it the code way. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of those areas that I'm looking forward to the Solana ecosystem. Uh, <laughs> They're chugging away at it. They're, They're working so, on it. So hard. Just uh, like we are. Uh, I love the dev team. I understand what it means to have scale issues. You can obviously see we're hitting some tonight with a little bit of uh, 
technical difficulties on some of these race videos, uh, which I say again, it was shortly uh, we'll be propping. There should be no concern on the old hot dog steaks, though. I know that one should be good to go. And I think the gallop, if we refresh, should be about ready. I believe it's ready. If we want to head down to the track. Mo. Take it away. Beautiful. All right. We are back for more pure, totally live action. It's the Twin Spires Gallop. Coming at you. And they're off. Vladimir Lenin going to break out along with Super Lucy. Missed opportunity. Breaks, breaks out in third, rather, with good early speed in front of Dunharrow. Siadria and Powder, as these names are tongue twisters around the opener here in this eight furlong left turning affair on the dirt. It's off track for some grade one racing. 500 and 60,000 Derby in the pool. Gotta love it. Opening quarter in 24 and change. Mott's pace up top here for the leader, Vladimir Lenin. And Super Lucy has got about seven lengths to catch him early. But they are showing the way over Powder, Repeater, and Juiced Up as that pack now. Looks like a lot of heel clips going on out here on the track. They might be trying to battle it out here for these big prize pools. You'll love to see it. Half miles coming on now in 48 and change. But nothing's changed up top as Vladimir Lenin still holding strong. That lead, four and a half. Here comes Powder chasing with Repeater, Juicy Facts, and Afro Juice. Afro Juice looks like they were trying to make a big move there, but cut off by Super Lucy. Here we go now, round the far turn, three quarters, 112. What's it going to take to bring down Vladimir? Stay tuned, find out. But that lead went from four to nine real quick. Vladimir Lenin, Juicy Fax down the center of the track. Here comes Gazooka. Repeater also making a move, but it might be just for placements here. Too little, too late, as Vladimir Lenin did the work early and seals the deal. It's going to be Vladimir Lenin over Gazooka and Juicy Fax. Now that big is race. interesting. Big finish, big finish. Vladimir Lenin. Vladimir. Uh, breaking bad. Breaking Vladimir Lenin, over. Vladimir Lenin. Now I remember listening to Mo call just one month ago, Vladimir <laughs> Lenin, and that was in the Red River Run. So the Red River Run was a little bit longer last season. It was twelve furlongs, uh, and I'm telling you, man, these juveniles that show up in these races uh, one season ago, they're going to show up again one season later. So make sure you watch those. Keep that in mind. Keep it yep. Noggin. Yep. So the the big moment we've all been waiting for is here. Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh the my! Producer can jump over and take a look at this dollar fifty. Can we get a chart dog. check? Can we get a chart check? Let's take a look at the chart. Let's take a look at the race. We've got two and a half minutes to post. This is just something else. I'm, I'm excited. And uh, whether or not we get a time delay on, <laughs> on whether the race runs or not, I don't care because I'm excited about That's this right, dollar fifty vibing. hot dog steaks. This is being run at D Stables Racetrack, one of the magnates within the Photo Finish Live ecosystem. Uh, if we can take a look at the chart, I'm going to go try and pull it up as well, just so we can see where are we at. Oh, <laughs> up only. Up only. Look oh, at man. this. Well, they just 11... painted it. They, just, <laughs> they dumped it right when, we, right when he pulled it up. <laughs> dumped right before a big red candle. Oh, it's back. Moment. It's still back. Oh. They're painting it. Fill the wick. Oh. Fill the wick. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. the wick, all wicks must be filled. Don't you guys know the rules? I mean, that's that is the rule. But here we are. We're in this crypto crazy world. Mm -hmm. uh, Web3, Geo Bowden, Dolan Tramp, and Costco Hot Dog. Costco Hot I'm, Dog. I could not be more excited with this level of just wackiness because we have got a huge race. A minute now, and a Ian, half Ian, now. I have a comment. I mean, what the Let's name of this race. So... What what is that? What do you think that that you know NFA? But what what does that imply about this? You know, it's a. I the mean, that, that's the best part. If, look, maybe people don't know Costco. They they don't understand. They haven't maybe been not. here in the U.S. Maybe you're not. You don't have a Costco where you live. The hot dog meal at Costco is one dollar and fifty cents. It comes with a soda too, and it has been that way for forty years. Nineteen eighty four, they announced the dollar fifty Costco hot dog meal. 
the absolute hedge against all inflation is the dollar fifty hot dog. So it the joke here for it yeah. would be, I mean, why on earth would the token that is a fanfic uh, named after the not reach the hot dog not yeah. reach dollar fifty? It, it only makes sense in this crazy world where nothing makes sense. This makes sense. This makes sense. I imagine, yeah, like I think that, you know, NFA, I think it'd probably get there and then just never move again. Like maybe right. it would just stable at a dollar fifty. Once the market decides the the fair price, I mean, total efficiency in the market just stays yeah. there like a chart you've never seen in your life, you know? <laughs> That's so what I we've got everyone here. Dollar fifty is FUD. Looking at the chat, cost to three fifty in the chat. Uh, this is a better deal than Arby's five for five. I mean, there's the five dollar footlongs. There's so many great things about this, and we're very excited to have, you know, had this grant from the team to to pass on to our racers. So let's head to the track. I can't wait to see the dollar fifty hot dog states. Let's see it. Oh my god, it's loading. Yes. Let's do it. wasn't ready <laughs> <laughs> oh my god i wasn't ready <laughs> look at him look at him. no oh, they no. missed the oh, call no. oh no you were muted what i People was muted watching. on the street oh because you got oh, called no. oh my god oh my god <laughs> no. that was the biggest fail ever oh uh, we're hearing the producers saying he was uh uh, absolutely. Oh, oh they hear me Needed. now. He's crushed. Oh, Mo, my are God. you okay? My hotkey did not. Oh, man, my oh. hotkey did not. And I, the, once the hot dogs came out, I lost it. Oh, that's a shame. So you missed the call of the century as Mo. That was, I know. God, that was. Died that's a piece of lost that. media right there, honestly. <laughs> oh, I got to start locally. Do you have a local recording on the switchboard? That would be crazy. Uh, oh, I'll still win here. We'll see. Anyway, oh, um, amazing, uh, fun, ridiculous. They're saying call it again. Maybe we'll run it back after the Derby. It, it, it won't be the same allure, but you can you can act your way through it. Um, we'll run it back. <laughs> amazing. Yeah. That was uh, um, absolutely normal. You know, people told me uh, it couldn't be done, and I said, I'm going to do it. You know, this is yeah. one of those things where when you make games, you get to do whatever you want. Uh, just so everyone watching knows, all of those were real horse performances. Nothing was changed about the race. The race was actually simulated correctly, but I decided to make some hot dog men run in place of the horses. So that's why you can see the split times are all this are all kind of yes. matching and everything's crazy. But the yeah, the entry real so. players <laughs> entering real horses that uh, were, were visually shown into hot dog men, exactly. uh, men wearing hot dog suits, just a normal day <laughs> on the track. Running incredibly fast, honestly, uh, superhuman. In the fast, hallowed annals of horse racing. Oh my god! Absolutely, so. absolutely wonderful. Um, <laughs> well, yeah. I'm looking at the chart. I can't tell if we cratered it or mooned it, it but that's the key, you know. The, as long as we did one of those two things, I think it's a good day. You know, <laughs> giant red candle. After. Yeah, 
<laughs> that's just a, you know that's just another t- another chance to get in even that's deeper true. everyone's you know? moment this is the year of the hot dog uh, as lino says um Man, the hot dog, I guess. what a fun, exciting moment that was. So we've got the real Kentucky Derby, which we actually have to follow this uh, ridiculous race. But imagine the, uh, I don't know, Fib, when you look at something like that uh, and you've maybe you've seen the videos online of like the old people running out of the gate or uh, there are certain, I believe the, God, there's, there's certain other like the dinosaur inflatable costume races in mm-hmm. real life. Yeah. There's something really cathartic and hilarious, of course, of watching this. Are there other? What's next? What? Who else is running on this track? Who are we looking I mean, the, at? Next? The, I feel like the possibilities are literally endless. Uh, we had there's so much more. You know, there's there's just what we could do in that regard is absolutely um, unbounded. So what's next? Unbounded. I mean, geez, does anybody know what's next? The future is moving so quickly. Uh, I couldn't possibly That's predict that. That's true. But uh, this gets people the idea of a lot of the things that we've been talking about coming up with the Bonk Derby, which we're very excited about. All right. Uh, we, we are getting better and better at uh, some of these things of uh, having more, uh, you know, utilizing this engine and, and this sort of fun system to, to work with other partners and have a good time. I mean, that's what horse racing is, right? It's about having a good time. Why it so is. serious sometimes? And so here we are. We are at the virtual Kentucky Derby. Five minutes to post. Uh, I mean, these are the best of the best of the best of the best horses. Uh, it's impossible to pick a winner on some of these sometimes. Uh, I'm so proud of everyone that has made it this far. The the team, the everyone, uh, eyes focused, hearts full, clear hearts, <laughs> whatever you call it. Uh, the At this point, we are closing in on the, the end of this big season, the final season before the real life Kentucky Derby. The real life 150th, man, huge. And you know, this, the way that the, the way that the liquidity came in on these pools, man, absolutely mm. fantastic. This one crested over 300 K Derby. Uh, that's out of, and there's three majors now. I mean, the way that that's all rolling in, it's gotta be, it has to be related to some of your hot dog related gains or otherwise, uh, congratulations coming back playing the ponies i mean that's what it's all about it's we're having fun it's saturday man it's race day it's derby day so. it's race night yeah we're all hanging with the boys in the discord uh watching this go down so i don't know i'm looking at some of these uh horses it's going again always tough to pick i would love to throw a little bit of a shout out shout out to wool off and level up uh, that's a good looking horse for sure that would be the 12 if we're yes. looking obviously a very very strong steed someone to look and look out you can't also uh skip over the favorite currently so baltazar who is a uh previous derby winner is, is now looking at trying to get a repeat right with this american trilogy american trilogy horse. yeah american trilogy the uh the dam the, the 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 mother of this horse is uh bred from pelinor fields uh the baltazar ranch winner uh of the derby and then bred with elvis so this is a this is the, the American trilogy is the horse itself looking to complete the trifecta, so to speak, genetically. Um, That's true. That's a good way yeah. to put it. The genetic trifecta. Yes. Um, I see a couple of posts in chat of uh, Thunder Kiss is going to surprise everyone. I hear that in the chat. Let's see. So Thunder Kiss, we are looking Valkyrie, at a lacy and, horse. Thunder. Oh, the twenty. That's right. Uh huh. <laughs> the classic song uh out of uh white zombie thunder kiss 65 so that is a lts in an lds a little off it is it is off preference um long shot out at the far a little bit of a long shot yeah (laughs) i mean when the (laughs) odds stack up this high you're starting to get 40 to 1 30 to 1 i mean you got can you take a bite out of a 30 to 1 i certainly could uh if i found if i found a single reason to do it i would Mm -hmm. yeah huss reminded me strong eyes Clear, is it strong eye, clear heart, strong eyes, full heart? I don't know. Whatever. Liberty Tree, who's our favorite uh, handy capper, loves a 3 6 exacta box. Uh, so that's Argio and Dry Side. I don't know. That's three a does look good. Three, five mm-hmm. starts, four wins, 79 max fleet. Definitely looking strong. Three, six. Uh, dry but Side. Six is a big long shot. Huge long shot. Yeah. I wonder, mm-hmm. I wonder what the thought process is there, but you can't fade the man. You can't fade the creator of the DRF himself, the architect, <laughs> the architect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's also thrown in a few, uh, uh strawberry. This is a, uh, that's how Oz says, don't fade strawberry. Um, looking at strawberry, the, the five, 
that horse actually did earn 30 points on the road to the Derby. So that, that is a valid, a valid point. Um, obviously here for the competition. In Blank the five, on the board. Not, Blank mm-hmm. on the board though. No yeah. wins, two starts, no wins. Is this the day? Is mm-hmm. this the day? I mean, 60% Ready on count. the podium lifetime, uh, fully on preference. Uh, yeah, it is soft possible. out there. Yeah, very possible. Well, so we're at 35 seconds. So hopefully our uh, announcer got his microphone working. I know he's crushed. He's going to have to pick up and drown his sorrows this evening from missing the hot dog call. He's, gonna, he's just going to pour run it back. mustard on his head as penance. Just cover himself in mustard. Um, that's a, I, I feel like maybe we should all do that just as a sort of a sort of like a group thing. Make him feel yeah. better. <laughs> make him feel better. <laughs> I'll go check and see if I can find my mustard, my French is mustard. <laughs> <clears throat> you know what a funny, just a side random joke is that we actually DM'd French's mustard this week. Uh, one of our one of our uh, biz dev guys, just because we thought, man, they got to love this. They got to be on marketing. The end of yeah. this. <laughs> I think they, they haven't tweeted or responded in quite a while. Anyway, no, heading down to the virtual Kentucky Derby. Massive moment. Congrats to all the participants. Mo, are you there at the track? Are you okay? Please check we in. we are here. We are here. Um, so they might have recovered that tape as well. But we got a great event here. It's time for the virtual Kentucky Derby. Twenty horses looking for the prize. Here we go. They're off and running. It's Pose Harmony. Then comes American Trilogy. Jesse Rounded Toe out for third. American Ivory on the outside, along with How Now Brown Cow and Strawberry Hayes. Gonna round out the board now with Thunder Kiss 65, but you know how we do things here in the Derby. We don't stop there. Then it's level up. Also trying to find some room in between horses is Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain trying to lay it on thick along with Boat Drinks. But Boat Drinks, these two locked in to the back of the pack with RGO. Then comes Legend of Time and trail in the pack that is legend of time here as the 15 crunch actually made their way back here and we do our best here to get through the field as they make their way into the turn of this 10 furlong left turning affair on the dirt epic race here on a soft track up top still pose harmony pose harmony's race to lose but hold up here comes some mid-race action American Trilogy wants to get involved. Now here comes American Ivory as Pose Harmony gets out of the way of an American Sandwich. American Ivory takes over. Pose Harmony wants to backtrack here a little bit. All the way back, actually, as Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain comes flying up with a beautiful move, along with Jesse Rounded Toe. But it all comes down to this. Three quarters, 115. You know what that means? It's almost time for the money shot. Round the far turn. American Ivory now. American Ivory, that lead of two is now a lead of zero. Heavy Rain, perfectly timed move. 15 to one says, come and get me. It's Heavy Rain now by three. Shaking them up, heading for home. Heavy Rain, American Trilogy, Jesse Rounded Toe. Still anybody's race, but Heavy Rain trying to make it good. And American Trilogy, down past the eighth pole, has other ideas. American Trilogy says, I will do it one day, but you can only win it once here in the Derby. American Trilogy for the goose, for the gander, and for the win. It's going to be American Trilogy bringing it home for Balthazar Ranch over Heavy Rain and RGO. Congratulations. Congrats, Balthazar. There we go. What a legacy win there. What a legacy win. No doubt about it. Do mm-hmm. not fade the blood, man. That's true. Strength in the bloodline continues unabated. Blood. Well, Amazing. Boy, what, what an evening story. we've had, Fib. It has been. We've been there. You know, it's been it's been a sort of a a hot it's sort of been a hot dog bun of an evening. You know what I mean? It's like we started high, a little bit of a dip, then we're back on. Then we're on top of the world, coming out of it. You know, just amazing. That's exactly what I was thinking. I'm glad. Yeah, it was. It, I'm glad that we're connecting like that. Yeah. Well, everyone that's tuned in, thanks for tuning in and joining us. Uh, such a fun evening, and uh, we're looking forward to having another Costco hot dog race, which we will have with the juiced uh, prize for picking, which will come up. We'll obviously keep tuned on our socials. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a lot coming as well as we get closer to the real Kentucky Derby. Again, four weeks away. If you are anywhere near Louisville or you have some frequent flyer miles saved up, You should come get on a plane and join us in Louisville. There's going to be at least 50 photo finish people there, a bunch of third time folks, a bunch of the community, the executive club members of photo finish will be on the first turn club. 
I mean, great food, hot dogs for everyone. I imagine if I had to guess, it's going to be an absolutely epic Friday and Saturday. That's May 3rd and May 4th. We will be there. Hey, Please come join us. Come say hello. Uh, and you can get a ticket to the infield for 50 or 80 or 100 bucks if you want to just ha uh, come enjoy, uh, hang out with Fib. He'll be out there. Uh, glad handing everyone. And uh, I obviously encourage you to come. Fib, again, thanks for the evening. Uh, I, I want to check in with our producer, Mo, just to make sure he's okay. And did he, do we want to run that race again or do you have the call stored, sir? Uh, we do have it here. It's going to be more of a hybrid. We can we can run it back if you guys would like. Uh, what chat wants to do, what you guys want to do, let me know. Well, if you have it saved, then no, we don't need to run it again. As long as then we could, you know, share it with the, mm -hmm. with the we'll share it. Yeah. Saved it. That works for me. If that works we'll for you. We'll rewrite history in retrospect. You'll always have called it. And act, that's actually the official oh, line. No. If you guys are watching, please make sure that you follow that line. Uh, don't deviate. <laughs> Yes, I will uh, try to recover it, but great show, guys. It was a lot of fun, great racing, as always. Yeah, thanks, everyone, for tuning in. We will see Excellent. you uh, again. We race like this every single Saturday night. We have other race streams nearly every night with other members of the team, other community members, other streamers. Uh, feel free to drop in the Discord, follow us on Twitter uh, or X, and uh, just get in and get enjoy this virtual horse racing action. We have a lot of fun. Thanks again for tuning in, Fib. I will see you, uh, I don't know, Monday. Around, yeah. See you yeah. around. Yeah. Signing off. Peace. Farewell, everyone. <laughs>